like Turnip Boy banning Veranda, Pox banning Aquarium, um, and then Turnip Boy picking Library and Pub with Pox picking Gallery and High Rise. Taking a look at their stats, um, I'll let you talk about these because they're a little hard for me to read on this screen, but I'm taking a look at Turnip Boy. Uh, picking library and pub, what are his win percentages on those? Let's see, turn it boy on library. It's about 60% overall. Um, heavily favored towards the spy side, interestingly. For turn it boy? Yeah, for turn it boy. I'm showing 67 and 67 out of 18 games. I wonder if I loaded these incorrectly. For... Uh, I'm on season 5 only. Oh, I'm sorry, I did all time. Let's look at all time. Yeah. So he, I think they're both in season four and five, so that should be a good comparison. Gotcha. Yeah, so Library, um, Turnip Boy winning about 67% of the time on Sniper, 67% of the time on Spy. His pub, oh, nice. same thing, 67 and 67. So he's picking venues where he's uh, obviously strong and comfortable. Um, but let's take a look at the what venues did... Um, Pox pick gallery and high rise. I want to take a look at how he performs on high rise and gallery. Gallery, he's got a very low win rate uh, on spy, 17%. His high rise stats, 38% on sniper, 56% on high rise. So um, gallery could be an issue for Turnip Boy. Taking a look at. They're actually both relatively similar on gallery. Yep. Yeah. Pox with a 78% win rate on Sniper. And Pox not doing too poorly on Library either. While Turnip Boy's stats on Library are good, it looks like Pox is going to be able to put up a fight. Uh, Pox also fairly strong on High Rise. So both of them picking venues that they're both really good at. Um, it looks like Pox does well on Aquarium as well. So it's interesting that he banned it. Turnip Boy also doing well on Aquarium. So it could be a comfort thing and... Him just not wanting to have to deal with uh, Turnip Boy's performance on that. Uh, so we're going to be heading into Library first with Turnip Boy on Spy playing Alice or Ponytail and Pox on Sniper. This also is Bronze Division. Bronze Division overall seems very scary. I was saying uh, earlier that Bronze is almost scarier than Silver. Uh, yeah, that could definitely be. Yeah. We'll have to see how the tournament of position shakes things up. Right. Uh, so I've got the I've got the game loaded up. Are you ready? Yep. Perfect. Let's see how it goes. So three, two, one, planet. Turn it takes control from the AI. We're gonna step into the window. We're gonna go for a time ad. No, we're gonna go for a quick seduce. Forty seven percent. Rather than snuggling up next to Queen. Yeah, we could have could have gotten 51 there. Yeah, we're going to secure the 3 flirt. We have a green time ad to open things up as well, so that'll let us slow play. And we're burning up a lot of that time doing nothing, though. We're not going to go for a second flirt there. Uh, is Pox a flirt pairing sniper? You know, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not quite sure what Pox is known for sniper-wise, whether he's kind of a camper or a behavioralist or uh, flirt pairing. But maybe Turnip Boy knows something that we don't. We do pick up a highlight for touching statues. And Pox yeah. just playing it safe. He's panning around correctly, kind of checking all of the angles, making sure to watch everything. We've stepped in next to the ambassador, so we might have a good volume opportunity if they decide to leave. Yeah, I wonder if we're close enough to get the standing bug. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Circles are almost right. touching. But as you mentioned, we likely could pick up a bug when the ambassador leaves a reverse drive by here <laughs> do you know how to do the uh, split screen horizontal on this venue in spectator mode um, no but dells in chat might 
Drink being offered. I'm gonna go for the reject. I think at this point we're just waiting for the ambassador to leave so we can take that bug. And we give up. Taking too long. So we're gonna head into conversation with the seduction target and double agent. It's gonna give us the opportunity to get the banana bread if we want it. Flirting from across the combo, we're up to 72%. That's pretty good. That'll secure a close white flirt as a finish. We need the ambassador to, to move here a bit. Drop some fingerprints, set up for some bugs. Yeah, he still has not moved. And unfortunately, all the time we spent doing that kind of eliminates the benefit of the time ad. Right. We're at 2 minutes and 15 seconds with no missions completed. I also don't think that there have been any statue visitors since the first two minutes or so. We've taken out a yellow book, so that, that'll give us some progress that we can work on. Did he um, did he do two reading animations before he ran away, or was that just I a rip and run? I don't think so. Yeah, that, it looked that like a zero quick. cycle. It wasn't a rip, per se, but it was, it was definitely zero cycles. Okay. Yeah, I was watching it from the sniper's position, and Pox panned over, kind of saw him go into there, and then when he looked back, he was already leaving, so... We're going yeah, right we're in for the direct putting, transfer. Yeah, we're putting it back, and it looks like looks like we're taking our time with it. I don't know if Pox has even saw a turn up at the yellow bookshelf. No, that looks like it's coming away really clean. <laughs> the only issue is we've got a minute and 20, and we still got to do four more missions. Yeah, we have two-thirds of our flirt and two-thirds of our statues done. Where's our double agent at the opposite end of the venue? Inspect swap would bring us to four. Yeah, we could contact in the inspect swap here. But we're not a great banana character bread. for it. We have a fake banana bread. No SDA in our conversation. This is covering for a purloin. For a white purloin. Questionable decision by Turnip Boy. I, I'm not sure there about the fake BB into purloin. Because it puts us in a position where you've got three missions completed, you've got a drink in hand that you've got to somehow get rid of. Um, I mean, maybe you gulp and inspect swap, but I think inspect swap into real BB may have been stronger if, if you're trying to go that route. Uh, so that's going to be Pox taking the first point, 1-0 on library, which was Turnip Boy's pick. Yeah. There was no way of knowing that that conversation didn't have an SDA in it, but that's a good benefit, and despite that, right. Pox is still looking for the purloin. And Pox is going to be on which spy? Pox is playing as Boots. Boots, Boots, Boots. Here we are. All right. Three, two, one, playing it. A lot of bumping going on under AI control. We're going to settle down at the window. We're going to walk next to the ambassador. We're going to take a bug. Turnip Boy is right on it. <laughs> yeah. Right on it. I don't know if you were watching that from the sniper's perspective, but I do want to take another look at that. You'll see that Turnip Boy is guarding that ambassador very strong in the beginning. He's keeping him in full view. I don't even think I'm going to rewind Turnip Boy did a quick check on the left statues, but keeps the laser pretty much right on the ambassador. Leans left so he can see around the pole specifically for these bug options, and Pox goes right for it. I mean, right into what Turnip Boy is watching for. So, um, good game sense by Turnip Boy to guard the ambassador early on. We'll see if that's a trend for Pox to go for the early bugs, or if it's just Turnip Boy, um, you know, guarding Amba as as most people do. So. Um, yeah, I was watching from a spy camera, and the camera was really pointed at the Amba there, not really focusing on where the laser was watching. Yeah, Pox maybe could have picked up on that and known that it was not a good time. It is also one of those things, as you're playing library, when the sniper is looking... If, if we split into three sections, right, kind of blue books, green books, yellow books, and the sniper's looking at each one, it feels that when somebody checks an area after... A few seconds they usually pan over somewhere else and they don't come back 
for you know maybe five to ten seconds. So Pox may be thinking there, hey, he's been watching this. It's library. It's the start of the game. He's probably going to look away and then not return to look over here for a few seconds, and that's my window of opportunity. Uh, but unfortunately, Turnip Boy doesn't pan away at that moment. So heading into the next round, uh, we've got... Turnip as text. Turnip as text. Thank you. We'll see how he runs this one here. Three, two, one. Planet. Another early window. But it looks like we're going to start heading towards the selection target. Another quick green with some distance. We're at 48%. <laughs> Turnip Boy just needs to start getting a little bit closer. Turn these into some two flirts. Now we're in an innocent conversation, but we're picking up the briefcase. Yeah. Pac's not really looking for it, but Wheels was talking to us. And uh, tell the viewers why that's significant, that the AI was talking to us when we entered that convo as we were going for briefcase. Yeah, so if you are a spy picking up a briefcase in conversation, and an AI will start talking to you as the only other person there, that's, that's a hard tell. If an AI were to do the same thing that the spy did in that scenario, the person in the conversation wouldn't recognize that other character as being in the conversation, so they wouldn't start their talking animation. Yep. So one of the very small things in this game that can actually reveal who the spy is if you're paying close attention. Unfortunately, some of those things are so minute and there's so many other things that you're watching that they tend to go unnoticed, unless you're a sniper that specifically watches for those things. Yeah, you can't catch a spy for it every game, but when you do, it's valuable to know. And it feels awesome. <laughs> yeah. We're going to take a white yeah, BB in the back convo here. Uh, we've got Flirt up to 82. Pox and taking low lights. lights. But pretty good overall. All the SDAs were in conversation. Yeah, not a terrible BB. Really only four low lights, and we didn't get high lit, so... We do pretty finish similar, our seduce. Pretty similar position to the last game. About two minutes left when we got our uh, seduce and another mission done. Mm -hmm. This time, though, we've got a fingerprint on us from the early game, which I it, I don't think he's in too terrible of a position, especially if he can direct transfer this book. If we can dump that within the next maybe 15, 20 seconds, and hopefully the Amba drops that briefcase right there, and then we're down to just one mission, uh, it's a pretty good spot to be in. There we go. Rio in chat is saying control S if you want to do split ah, screen. Perfect. Although I had to fumble with it a bit. I got it. Once you're in split screen mode, then you press control S. Nice. So we got our green book and looks like we're heading to the blue book case. Yeah, and we're going to return it here. Lasers on the other side, so we're just going to stuff it in and hope that Pox doesn't see it, which he won't. Yep, great move. At this point, the shot would be coming off for the lack of the book in hand. Right. Now, I hope we don't purloin here. He's got such a great lead. I think this would be a very dangerous purloin. Um, we take an innocent drink. I'm not quite sure about that. No, it's not. It's not, not an time. innocent drink. This time it has a, an easy fingerprint. Wow. Yeah, I've, I haven't been paying attention to where the Amba's been dropping fingerprints, so we're we're at four missions. We need one mission uh, more with 50 seconds on the clock. Not a bad position to be in. However, what mission do you go for here, Lugorf? Um, it looks like Turnip Boy has gulped that drink, so we might want to or step into statues. Stepping into the He could have sipped it once in the conversation and then sipped it again at the statues. So if Pax was seeing that drink take and then already seeing that the drink is gone, mm -hmm. that could be suspicious even without a purloin. I think if we're not shot for immediately stepping into those statues, uh, then we're gonna get we're gonna win. There's no swap. If if in Pox's mind Turnip Boy only needed one mission and middle statue means you finish inspect, he would have shot him the second he stepped there, right? Or he would have been closely watching for the swap and really neither happened, uh, which allows Turnip Boy to get away with a 
clean mission complete. Yeah, even if Pox was on top of the fingerprint drink, mm -hmm. um, they didn't see the microfilm return. Yeah, we got away with that pretty cleanly, so. Heading into the next one, getting it loaded up here. We're gonna have uh, Pox on Spy as who? Pox as Spy as Teal. Heading in as Teal. Okay, and two, one, planet. We are next to the ambassador, but we have a drink in our hands. So we won't get the option to bug this time. And that's probably for the better, because it looks like Turnip Boy is watching the <laughs> ambassador again. Yeah, po Pox probably a little bit afraid to go for a chaos bug. <laughs> yeah, Turnip is hev heavily guarding his ambassador. Yeah, he's, he's playing like I do, where I kind of... I do quick pans everywhere else, and then I go right back to the ambassador very frequently. We've got highlights for statues, except for Smallman, who's hiding behind Taft. And we got a 51% flirt. That was a green flirt early on with Irish. Fingerprint being dropped on yellow. Pox. Take out this green book. Mm hmm. That flirt was never going to happen. <laughs> it's the risk of trying to chase him to the window, but luckily Irish lands pretty close to us. We're going to wrap around so we can get right up next to our ST, hopefully hit the green and have flirt done and out of the way. And we are just a few steps away from this yellow bookcase if we want to slam this book in while the laser's on the other side. Yeah, I think at this point Pox should be recognizing how heavily Turnip Boy is guarding the Amba. Just looking at the laser, even even from uh, their perspective playing a spy, you can see that the laser is constantly shooting back over to the Amba. Um, I would probably wait for the laser to come over to me once, and then as soon as it pans away, immediately go drop the book. We're at the bookcase. We're on camera, but probably not seen returning that book. Two missions done, 2.38 on the clock. We're gonna head to an innocent convo here. Maybe feeling a little exposed after uh, doing a direct transfer, trying to lose some heat that they think they may have, but it seems like they're really unsuspected for any direct transfer there. Yeah, the pacing so far has been two missions done with about two minutes left. Okay. But we're finally stepping in with the double agent. DA, how are we on the pillar? Uh, we're fairly covered here. The at least our faces, our left arm sticking out, but a white BB may cover a, a talk cancel. Our red BB would even be pretty well covered here, but there's no benefit to doing that. I don't know. That has me thinking if a red BB in a certain moment would be good. If uh, they may think that somebody else, you know, you're looking for those hands. They may think that someone else coughed. Take a missed I shot. I know Taft has a cough-like animation in his. Innocent talk. But our DA will leave, so we will have to come up with a backup plan. And it looks like that'll be an innocent book in the meantime. I don't know if Pox has time to do innocent things, uh, especially like a book visit right now. We've got two missions done, but we've only got a minute and 20 left, which is really not that much time. We're chasing down the DA, and we're going to land next to the ambassador. Are we going to go for a bug? We don't. A lot of people just left that conversation. Turnip Boy looking for swaps here on the twin who's inspecting. About in seven lowlights available on that one, but we're going to split into the statues that the twin just put down. And we may see an inspect swap come off here. We've only got 40 seconds and we've got to do two missions. Unfortunately, we get a red inspect, but Turnip Boy ends up shooting Oprah, who's currently carrying the briefcase. So, Turnip Boy um, playing uh, anxious, a little trigger happy, looking to take the shot. Uh, if you're Pox here, you may take note that the BB triggered Turnip Boy to shoot, right? So, maybe you can utilize that, keep it in your back pocket for later if you're running low on missions and you're not going to finish. Try and throw out a fake BB under 30 seconds, you might be able to make him shoot again. Uh, but that's going to bring it to 2-2, I believe. 
two to two. I'm not really keeping track of the score. It is two. But we're two. stepping into gallery, and this is whose pick? Gallery is Pox's first pick. We'll do four rounds on gallery. And we're going to have Turnip Boy on Spy as who? Duke. Duke. Ba, 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 ba. Where's Duke? And we will have Pox on Sniper. Did I do that right? I didn't do that right. Okay, perfect. Heading in for some more gallery. And we're going to go three, two, one, playing it. Uh, sorry, I uh, technical difficulties. I got to back out. Give me one second. All right. I hit control N for some reason. So we're going to go gallery game one. Okay. Three, two, one, playing it. Looks like we're just gonna step into an innocent painting pad and let the party settle down. Heading outside to our ST, gonna start with Flirt. Both of these players typically starting with uh, Seduce, which is probably a pretty standard opening, especially as you start to get out of the, um, I think when you start to get like bronze and above, a lot of people open with Flirt, unless you start getting into the very high levels of of the rankings. It's just kind of a safe option as the party settles down. Yeah, it looks like Pox is zooming in depending on where their ambassador is. Yep, I think also probably fairly common. I think that's how I tend to play is uh, zoom out when the ammo's outside. Yeah, we could have played a bit aggressive with the flirt at the start. Yeah. While the ambassador was in the very back. Yeah, you'll, we're just timer flirting this. you'll see some spies on gallery specifically. They'll flirt, as Lagor just mentioned, and then they'll run over to the windows to let the cooldown uh, trigger and then head right back in and flirt again instantly. You can get some quick flirts off early game on gallery. Second flirt is done. We're at 68%. And as soon as our talk is done, we're heading back inside. We've got Ambassador dropping a fingerprint on green bookcase. We're going to step into statues to start our inspect. A bit of a stutter. This is a fingerprintable statue. Is this one? I think so. Yep, it's fingerprintable. We have our first fingerprint done. Looks like Salmon is uh, ruining the green fingerprint. We can still go grab the... Oh, no, I think they're both gone. We could head into blue to hit up our ST for a flirt, try and finish that off. We reject the drink, and it looks like we're going to head into blue bookcase. We go for the green flirt before picking out the book. Flirt's complete, and we've got a blue book. Yep, minute and a half left. We still need to settle down with the double agent at some point. Innocent book visit, other than the flirt there. Heading into the back side of the conversation. We requested a drink. Did Irish reject right before us? Uh, she doesn't have a drink in hand, so most likely. It's a fingerprintable. Beautiful. Nice. Double agent is at bookcase, so that'll keep her out for a short while. Meanwhile, we still have one more Head right in there. The schedule. Awesome. Nice. I say we take your BB here. Head over to inspect, gulp it, and finish. We're yeah, electing to stay. Good setup. Yeah, we're gonna sip and leave. That gives us good cause. Yeah, we've got one sip on screen first too, which is nice. So we, at least uh, Pox, may not notice the uh, the gulp. Oh, we didn't even have to gulp. We actually got two of them Unfortunately, done. Unfortunately, Sari is taking the front-facing statue, so we're gonna have to take the suspicious position. As long as the oh the shot comes off, not even suspecting the swap, Pox takes the shot on Turnip Boy for just finishing the inspects. I didn't expect that shot to be honest. It didn't seem like he was. Obviously, we can't tell what Pox is thinking, but yeah, they must have been onto those fingerprints. Yeah, possibly tracking fingerprint. 
Yeah, that's a good call. So we'll be heading into the next one here. Give me one moment. We're going to have... Uh, Pox as queen. Pox as queen. All right. Three, two, one. Planet. Current score is 3 2, Pox's favor. On his pick. That's good. You want to get a lead at this point after splitting Turnip's pick? Yeah. <laughs> Passing Amba, no bug or anything. Playing it cool so far. He's eyeing down his ST, but I think it would be a big risk to try and meet them at that pad over there. Yeah, she was definitely going to leave before we even had a chance to come close. So we're going to step into the back of the conversation. Very full conversation here. Take our flirt for 34, drink being offered to Queen. We wait a moment and reject. Yeah, we have 34% flirt and under three minutes left. We gotta start thinking about more mission progress in the meantime. Stepping into green bookcase, we've got a decent amount of coverage. Uh, Duke is pretty tall, Taft is there. We might be able to get away with a microfilm. There's a bit of a gap based on where the sniper's currently looking. There's a drink take to distract from the microfilm though. Microfilm goes off and it's, I'm looking at it from sniper's perspective. It was clear as day to see the head look back and forth, but uh, Turnip Boy may have been watching that, that drink take. Looks like we're going to the ST, but she's going to start moving. Amba's coming down this pathway. We might be able to take a bug if we want to be a little bit risky here. But we've got to make a move. Going right back to the blue bookcase this time. Mm -hmm. Turnip Boy zooming in on the guest list a decent amount. I don't know how we're going to get a, a blue microfilm off. You can't do it right there unless someone stands behind you. Yeah. Probably gonna wait until there's another drink take. That seems to be a good strategy because it's taking away a lot of turnips' attention. Yeah, absolutely. Right now we're just idling at, at the paintings. Now we've we had some coverage from Sari. She leaves. We miss a pad like three times getting onto blue. Next to the amber. Yeah. Uh, that's very risky. We're going to microfilm with the amber right wow. next to us. And it goes unseen. Yeah, that, you definitely need that green at that point. Mm -hmm. Green. And we need two more flirts in a minute. I think he's got a time ad. Or he takes out of his back pocket the fact that Turnip Boy kind of uh, shot on that library game as soon as that BB went off. Maybe we wait until 20 seconds and we throw out a BB and see if we can get a sip shot. You at least have to flirt really disrespectfully here. Yeah. Well, we, we're going for a time ad. It's green, but the beep beeps are about to start. Green time ad right when Boots is checking her watch as well, so it could at least be down to a 50-50 if it's caught. There should yeah. be one fingerprint available on blue books, which... We're not heading for a little bit of a weird oh, like, path. Yeah. And I think we get shot for it. Turnip was zoomed out for those time ads, and it looked like he was really tracking both characters at that point. I'm going to replay that path into that back convo. Because um, it was kind of weird. I want to. It seems like that's maybe what he saw. Turnip boy taking that point. Tied 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> Heading into our next gallery match, we're going to have Turnip Boy on which spy? General. Heading in on General, a good character to uh, get some early swaps off. Also known for his great walking bug. Yeah, strong character overall. Let's see how it plays out in 3, 2, 1 planet 
immediately stepping into the blue bookcase. Looks like Pox is focusing on the Amba. Okay. We're gonna right. take out this book. I think we could have gotten away with a microfilm there. There was a lot of traffic on that right side. I don't think that Pox was watching it early. I think some books ended up getting marked, but I'm not sure if Turnips is one of them. We pick up a quick flirt on the pad for 34%. We're bringing the blue book over to the left side of the of the venue there. And then we're... A quick stay, and we could go back and return this or the book to the wrong shelf. I think that's exactly but what we're going to do. No, the we're going to will leave a bit soon. So we can't double up on mission progress there. <laughs> uh, but we can if we join him in the back conversation there. It looks like we're going to spread out the bookcase visits as much as possible. Up to 85%. And we're kind of just laying low. I think he's trying to burn some time before he puts the book back. With such an early book grab, I, I think he's going to dump it in green. That would be yeah, the only like you reason said, you'd keep it for so like long. Like you said, there was a lot of cover on the right side, but that could also mean that Pox's attention was on that side during the chaos time. So you, that just might contribute to some memory of being like, oh, it wasn't general at the blue shelf? Right. Even if you didn't mark the book? Well, we stepped into green, and if he was going to take the shot, he would have taken it now. So unless he realizes it was an incorrect uh, book to put in that shelf as he's walking away, it looks like we're going to get away cleanly with it. Yep, looks like we're gonna. Looks like we wanted to finish up this seduce, but we didn't want to get too close or one painting pad away. Yeah, and you know, it, it feels like General's been chasing that ST a decent amount in the past, you know, since the start of the game. He might want to space out that last flirt. It's it's at 85, so he can finish it quickly. We take kind of a passive highlight there. Pox waiting for Turnipoy to cross the laser before he highlights, rather than panning over to him. He doesn't want to give Turnipoy any indication that he's onto him. Wow. And questionable decision by Turnipoy. We get right up next to our ST, risking a pair... Uh, or a pair confirmation when we only needed 15%. Yeah, I didn't even notice that highlight. And the red. Oh, the red, red comes off and that'll, there it that'll is. yield a shot. Yeah, that's a, that's a very interesting case where I think that passive highlight, rather than doing a more active highlight, made a pretty big impact, right? I mean, it, it, maybe Turnaboy would have felt the pressure of the highlight if he felt the laser go right over to him, but um, he didn't. He was just kind of walking around and... He gets shot for the white BB. Again, right there, I think Turnip Boy could have um, flirted from across or maybe thought about his fourth mission and then finish with flirt because 15% is not that hard to get. So, And he still needed another mission unless he was going to go for a, 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 a purling there at the end So, with, with Toby yeah. right behind him. Yeah, with that second to last uh, ST visit at the painting pad, it almost looks from the sniper view that they're next to each other just because of the depth. Right. So yeah, yeah, as you were saying. them there as well. Yeah, and he'd kind of just been all over him, uh, you know, since the, the very start of that. So heading into our last round of gallery, uh, Pox 2 is going to be on... Oprah. Oprah, thank you. It's a very close match, actually. It's very back and forth. 3-4 yeah. with Pox in the lead. Let's see how it pans out for the last one. Gallery in 3, 2, 1. Playing it? Yeah, if you're Pox, you would love a 5 to 3 scoreline coming out of your map pick. Gallery has yielded a lot more idling at the start compared to Library. Yeah. <laughs> Despite having less time to do so. And we're heading in for a flirt at bookcase. And we get 51. That's a good start. Mm -hmm. Are we going to take this book out again? Doesn't look like it. 
Looks like we just wanted the flirt, not planning for any microfilm quite yet. Uh, we passed by our AMBA, but I don't even think we'll be credited with a bug there. Most people don't go for that, that um, you know, when they're both walking at each other, it usually doesn't stick. Cooldown has expired as we chase our ST outside. Man, if, we are with the double agent. If either of these players did any kind of flirt pairing, they would dominate the other person because they chase their, their STs pretty hard in the beginning. Yeah, we're done with flirt. Uh, context has come off at a pretty decent time. And, and we're zoomed out. Take our low lights. Uh, Turnip Boy was zoomed out for that, so there was a few people on screen talking. I'm not sure what he saw out of it, but he did take his low lights. Yeah, we're stepping into statues and not getting high lit for it. There we go. Pox now knows he's high lit. He's got a mission and a half to go. I think frame swapping boots right there may be a decent, uh, a decent finish. Such an early swap at about you know a minute thirty. It's a little bit uh, sooner than a sniper might be expecting. Yeah, it looks like Turnip is rotating his laser to get a good angle on it as well. Mm-hmm. I think we head We're in and way. we inspect swap. I We're like the way that Pox in. thinks. <laughs> It's going to put it in a 50-50, but, I mean, against a good sniper, oh, those aren't bad odds. It's a green swap. We get the green swap. I don't know about that. That might not be what was intended in this case. We're done with missions. The it's still a 50-50, yeah. most likely, so it's not bad, and it's a more confusing 50-50 at least. Stepping into the back. Now here oh, do we create a distraction. We do. We go for the distraction. I like this move because we saw earlier a very similar situation. No distraction uh, went off when the swap happened and the person who got shot. I think yeah, that was these two. swapped it and is just now being noticed with, what, with two We're zooming in. Left. And we've got, uh, we've got Pox running to the back. A little bit of uh, dancing, if you will. Uh, worried about getting shot. So a great distraction by Pox. That's always a kind of a 50-50 move is do I, do I throw out a BB to distract my sniper so that the swap isn't seen? The only downside is you're eliminating that person as the person to be swapping. So it's confirmed as you, um, but it, it works out for Pox in this instance, taking it to a five, three lead for Pox heading into the next venue. Which, Which should is Turnip be Boy's pick of pub. Turnip Boy's pick as pub. I'll pull up the stats screen for Turnip Boy on pub here as I get things loaded up. And we're going to have uh, Turnip Boy on spy as Alice. So do you know anything about these two players in terms of are they, are they going to be watching for pathing? Not at all. We'll have to see if either of them decides to leave on the AI control, because that can be a good way of knowing if they know. Right. Let's take a look. Three, two, one, planet. Turn it boy, instant take control. So not too worried about pathing, or not trying to counter it at least. We've got swap and bug off. Taking an early flirt on Kane near the window. Yeah. That's a that's a green for twenty seven percent. You hate to see that. I think he ended up getting caught on one of the bar stools and decided to just stay there rather than have a hitch in his path. Right. And again we've got another chase. If one of these two starts picking up some flirt pairing it can make a big impact. Yeah, sixty one percent on the flirt, so that will require a green. Or two more white flirts. White BB, there are three people out of conversation. Three people out, and it looks like Pox goes for the low lights. Uh, four if you count Damon, five if you count Toby. Toby hasn't been low lit just yet. <laughs> Perhaps still waiting for that purloin to come off. Bug is off. 
in favor of purloin and fingerprint. Fingerprints on, and we've got two fingerprints waiting inside, one at Toby at the bar and one at the briefcase there. Done with the flirt. Finished off with the green, and our selection target will leave immediately after. And we're in the classic pub position. Contact and seduce is done. What's my third mission going to be? Yeah, looks like Kane is stepping into statues, that, so that could be really suspicious at this point. Or threatening, rather. <laughs> it looks like we're going to do the same. Well, if he didn't, if he didn't shoot Kane for going into statues at this point, why would he shoot Turnip Boy for going into statues? I don't know, but he does. Yeah, probably for talking more, perhaps for following the ST. Yeah, maybe he finally started picking up on some of that flirt pairing I was talking about a little bit. Um, it, it definitely seems like they're both chasing. Difficult fingerprintable. Oh, that statue was. Yeah. Okay. But that would have to be crediting a lot. Yeah. So, more likely the flirt pairing. Yeah, I'll be interested. I don't think either of them are in Chad. I, I'd be interested to know if, if they started picking up on flirt pairing towards the end here. So we're going to have Pox as wheels. Current score is 6-3 Pox in the lead. Uh, heading into another pub match, which was Turnip Boy's pick. In three, two, one, playing it. We're AI controlled still. Yeah, we are. We settle down with the double agent. If these conversations fill up enough, maybe we'll go for it. But the other SD is out of conversation. Swap and purloin off. Nice. Good trade for Bog instead of purloin. Yeah, I prefer Bug on this venue, I think, over Purloin. Looks like we're going to let Kane settle down in conversation if we want to go for a BB, because it would be a pretty good time to. Now would be perfect. And the end of Everybody's Everybody in, in conversation. And it's a green. Beautiful. Turn to point not taking the assumed real lowlights on Teal or Alice. Right. Could be mental lowlights. Right. That's what I do. Yeah, that's powerful. And with two and a half minutes left, we can start getting a move on with the flirt. I want to see a bug here. You know, I feel like we haven't seen that many bugs throughout this entire match. We've we've had a couple, but I don't I don't feel like we've seen any good successful bugs. Yeah, only one I can remember was the one that Turnip Boy caught Pox for pretty yeah. shortly after the time of chaos. Same. Stepping in a conversation with our seduction target, Teal. Getting that started for 51%, giving us an option to two flirt. Yeah, that helps at this time. It looks very innocent as well. Yeah, especially because we, we didn't go to Teal for the first you know minute or so of the, of the, of the round. So it's unlikely yeah, that we're flirted. We were to, if we were to talk here again with Boots, that mm -hmm. might get us... Uh, incorrectly paired. I don't know how much time we have, though. I mean, a minute 20, we've got to finish flirt, and we've got to give ourselves enough time in the event that we don't, you know, we don't two flirt. I like this move going for inspect and then finishing with flirt because, as we were just noting, the flirt pairing is probably not there right now. Yeah, we're the fourth statue visit, so pretty active this game. Mm -hmm. We are going to need another green flirt, though, as we're crossing into the minute mark. I think if Pox can if Pox can two flirt this, I think he's going to take it. I, if he can step in right here and land a green action test, and he waits, you know, wait 10 seconds or so before he talks, if he lands that green, I really doubt Turnip Boy's going to shoot him for it. Oh, oh no. that's got to feel bad. RNG. And up the briefcase. Well, this is not good for Pox. If, if you're Pox here... I'd be shaking my camera in frustration because we almost just had a free easy win. And now this chase looks a little bit more obvious. I, I and could, it's a white flirt. And it's a white for 85. Oh. I could see Turnip Boy taking the shot on this. We're leaving. That's... 
pretty much gonna confirm it if we have to head back, especially if we add time before. Yeah, we're um, we're pretty screwed here. We start the action test, but we and run we run time. out of time, just barely. Point going to Turnip Boy. It feels like it's been a while since he's won a round here. I think this is a case where, like I kind of said back on library, I would have liked to see Pox throw out a late BB and force a Civ shot on Turnip Boy. I just have a feeling that Turnip Boy playing from behind, we saw it happen on library a little bit. I think he could bait out a Civ shot at least one of these rounds, and that could have been the moment to do it. Uh, that was the game with the perfect BB, aside from Teal. Yeah, so, so he would know that it's fake. That's true. Probably, if anybody probably were to get shot. shot there, it could be Teal who visited statues. Or right. did she? We'll be Either heading. way, we're stepping into high rise with Turnip Boy as Alice. And Alice was just our spy, right? She was. Oh, we just had wheels. Oh, we did have wheels. Why was it on Alice? Maybe I had the wrong spy thing up. So Turnip Boy on spy, heading into high rise. And I wanted to take a look at the stats really quick because I think, uh, yeah, Pox is at an 80% sniper win rate on high rise, and this is his pick. Uh, so we're in a pretty rough situation if you're Turnip Boy right here trying to take a spy win to not lose the entire thing. Uh, let me just see if we had stats on Turnip Boy's high rise. His spy win rate is at, I think that says 56%. So um, statistically, we're in a very rough spot if we're Turnip Boy here. Let's see how it pans out in three, two, one, planet. Mission wise, we've got microfilm off, standard swap off, standard and purline off. All pretty standard picks. I think we typically see swap, microfilm off, and then it alternates between bug and purloin uh, being the missions that are left off. Yeah, we picked up a quick painting seduce there. For Very quick, I didn't even notice it. Yeah, most people opt for the four soft tells plus bug, because that's the easiest hard tell to get away with. Right. And we're just hanging out. I feel like on 3-5 high rise, you have a little bit of extra time to kill. It just feels like there's a little bit of extra time on the clock for the spy. We're going to head over and start our inspect, and surprisingly, we don't go for the flirt first. You can we flirt. Did. Oh, we did. I'm sorry. I just didn't notice it. Good. We're we haven't picked up a highlight, though, and that could be important. And he did highlight. Did he highlight, highlight Disney, was it, for being at statues? I believe so, but we yeah. were behind him. So I could really throw off Fox's, uh mission count. Uh, yeah, it's very possible as long as we don't go to a middle statue that that could that could give us a free inspect and if you can get a free inspect and then you get your BB off, that's pretty much a win. The question is, do you BB now and then inspect or do you inspect and then BB? I think you just uh, inspect first because you're just now being seen for the first time getting half statues when in reality you have all three done. Yep. Unless Pox is more onto this. Yeah, we did- Fingerprint on the statue. I don't like that. We, we don't need the fingerprint. Unless we're gonna go for fingerprints over contact. Now, was that- yeah, we could this. Was that Pox on gallery that had the passive highlight onto Turnip Boy as general? Am I remembering that correctly? I think so. I believe because that's the, the way that it game. was. Yeah, so it's very possible that Pox is more onto him than we think uh, because we've seen him kind of attribute suspicion without giving it away. Here goes the second fingerprint. If Pox makes the first set of statues, this fingerprint Oof. is all he's shooting for. A silent game on high rise. It looks like Turnip Boy's going to take it. That was great spy play overall. I mean, we got pretty lucky that, that it doesn't look like Pox knew about the first statue visit, um, but I, I always like a silent game, so. Yeah, well played. Good keeping track of the fingerprints as well. Yep, exactly. Uh, so it's gonna be a point to Turnaboy, taking it to five. 
And now we're in the very fun position of uh, match point, right? Yep, we got Pox as sorry this game. Pox as sorry. In three, two, one, planet. So right here, if Pox takes this spy win, uh, he's going to win the set 7-5, gaining two points for the league. If it ends up a tie because Turnip Boy snipes it or Pox is in complete missions, it's going to be a tie for 6-6, six, six, and they each get one point in the league. This game, Pox doing the painting flirt at the beginning, but getting up to 51%. Similar opening. And we've got uh, same missions, right? Purloin, swap, and microfilm off. Same missions. Salmon has just joined us in conversation. <gasps> what? A pox taking a sieve shot way too early. Turnip shot. Or tur oh, I'm sorry. I had that backwards. Uh, yeah, you're right. Turnip taking it. <laughs> The incorrect shot, giving the game over to Pox, who's going to win 7-5. I really am curious as to what the reasoning was for that. I'm going to I'm gonna replay this back if you want to take a, a look with me, and let's see what Pearls does. Yeah, it's a short enough game. We've got some bumping with Amba in the very start, maybe crediting a bug. Let's rewatch this last one here. No time add. Standard low lights. She checks watch. Takes a drink before picking up the statue. And then gulps it. I wonder why. Huh. I've never seen that before. I don't think I've ever seen that either. Why did that happen? But... I still can't help but feel like you don't shoot for that because I wouldn't shoot why for would it. Pox do it. Right. I mean, you're playing someone who's obviously showing a, a you know commanding level of spy party play. You know, they're up. It's not. It's not like it's a blowout. It's not that Turnip Boy's up six zero. Pox obviously knows how to play the game. Um, at best, you highlight for it and you just really watch pearls. But I, yeah, again, I don't know if you shoot for it. And he highlights just for simply going to statues. He sees this move. I can't imagine a scenario where Pox accidentally takes a drink and then gulps it to take a statue instead of walking away. So again, Turnip Boy a little anxious on the shot there and it nets Pox the two points in the league. Um, wow. Let's see what chat has to say about that one. Nonetheless, AI will definitely take drinks at statues. Nonetheless, saying it does happen. Uh, very edge case. When you see that as a sniper, you just react. I, I think so, uh, as what Dells is saying. I agree with that, but that's something you find yourself doing in, in casual play a lot. Um, and I feel it's something that I've, I've had to train myself to not do specifically for SCL, right? It's like when I see something, I really want to shoot in casual mode, but it can lead to incorrect shots in SCL. And it's just a matter of really trying to train yourself to not do that. Um, so I, again, obviously the correct move there is not to shoot for it, but just to watch her as a, as a highlight. Now I know to do that against Dells and get a low light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I've never seen that. Um, and I don't think you have either, Ligorv is what it sounded like. No. Yeah, very weird. So, Nonetheless, uh, Pox ends up taking it 7-5 over Turnip Boy. Turnip Boy, a very well-fought match. A lot of back and forth. Um, a lot of flirt chasing in the beginning. Maybe something for both of those two players to pick up on. Um, any closing thoughts on your end, Ligorv? Uh, no, those were two fun sets to cast. Very close. Yeah, very close. Perfect. Well, that's been another uh, unofficial spy party cast, I guess is, is what we'll call it. Um...